Chief of Fire Services for the City of Jackson, Dave Wooden. Dave, good to see you. Good seeing you, Mark. How are you? Good. Good. Did you have a nice uh, holiday weekend? Yes. Yep. Good. Had some quiet time to enjoy with the wife. Nice. Away from the rat race. <laughs> your, uh, your crew didn't. They had, uh, unfortunately, they had a uh, handful of fires over the weekend. Yeah, we've had three in the last week, um, but that's not uncommon. Things go in three in the business. <laughs> Kind of like uh, full moons and things like super, that. You're not superstitious, are you? No. No. All right, so there was an unoccupied house um, fire on the north side. Yep. Uh, do we know what happened? How it started? Um, I haven't talked to the investigator on that, but um, I know we were thinking accidental, nothing suspicious. It was unoccupied, but it wasn't vacant. So people were working on it. Yes. Yeah. And also an, another similar situation where uh, a storefront, it appeared that people were working on restoring mm -hmm. the storefront on uh, First and Franklin. Yes. And that was just yesterday. Yep. We're following up on some information on that before we render an opinion on the cause and origin. Okay. And then what was the third one? Oh, you would ask, wouldn't you? Oh, North Street. We had one on North Street, mm -hmm. um, and that was... Uh, we think that was just a, a, an issue with a dryer. One of the uh, fires, I think both the two fires I was talking about, you used your new um, uh, ladder truck on, right? Yep, yep, Tower 8. We, uh, in both cases, the f two of the, ki uh, the cases, the fires were very difficult to put out and uh, we weren't able to get a control on it quickly enough. So we ended up having to put the tower up to spray a large quantity of water on it to, to knock it down so we could finish putting it out. <clears throat> and that, that's the biggest advantage of this new piece of equipment, besides reaching people for rescue, is getting a higher angle for... Yes. And it'll also deliver 2,000 gallons a minute of water. That would knock someone over. Yes. Yes. Yep. I hope the guys haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it would. <laughs> <laughs> well, give us a call if you do, because it sounds like a, it'd be a good segment. Maybe a $10,000 video? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Viral. Well, one thing we haven't had this year, and it's, I think because of the rain, it's just been um, just too wet for uh, grass fires, which is typical what we see in May, right? Yeah, we, uh, I think the county-wide, I think we had a fairly docile grass fire season. Of course, that's, like you said, it's because we've had so much rain. Well, that's a good thing. Yep. We've got um, new fireworks uh, regs that went into effect at the start of the year. Yeah. And what do they what do they do? Are they more restrictive or? For the most part, they restricted the hours of legal use um, to be more considerate to people that were having challenges with the noises and stuff. That maybe had to get up and go to work the next day. So instead of being allowed to use fireworks the day before, day of, and the day after of all the national holidays, they restricted it down to about five primary weekends. Um, one being over New Year's Eve, uh, the other being um, Saturday and Sunday of Labor Day weekend and Memorial Day weekend, but not the holiday itself because a lot of people had to go back to work. Mm -hmm. And then they give you the biggest freedom on uh, the July 4th holiday. I think the, the hours are from June 29th through the 4th. Well, when you think about it, yesterday I, I noticed and I knew the law had changed so that um, fireworks, um, that, and these are that leave the ground, these don't apply yes. to the sparklers. And, but yes, yesterday there were a lot of fireworks on Memorial Day oh. itself, and that's the one day that you, you can't do it. Right. right. Which, it seems, why would you be blasting off fireworks on Memorial Day? It, it doesn't seem appropriate for the day, but it's, one, it's, it's yeah. summer holiday. It's a holiday. <laughs> uh, with the other thing, we, we haven't had a lot of grass fires, but we've had a lot of grass growing, and that causes a problem. Yes. Sometimes if we don't keep the gas, grass trimmed down around the fire hydrant and stuff, it makes it very difficult for us to see. So anybody that's got a hydrant in their yard, if, it's, if the hydrant's not very easily seen, we'd appreciate it if they'd trim the grass around it. All right, because it could be the hydrant that affects you if you have an emergency. Yes. Yep. Uh, summer, uh, a lot of people are burning, outdoor burning. The, um, there are city of Jackson regulations. You can't burn in a barrel. Right. 
What about the fire pits? There's a lot of new. There's a lot of new styles of, of fire pits um, that are being marketed today. What are the regulations? We uh, well, the ordinance has a lot of particulars in it, but the primary points of it are we re uh, require a manufactured device for the purpose of having a, a fire, like a chimney that keeps the fire enclosed, it keeps it burning freely, and it keeps the sparks and embers from leaving the fire. Uh, you can put it in a pit, but we recommend that it, um, it, or it has to be up off the ground because that allows the fire to burn cleaner and produce less smoke. So you just can't fashion some concrete blocks into a pit? No. no. Have, have, have it professionally made or one that's purchased professionally made? Yes. Okay. Yep. There are distance restrictions from property line in buildings. And we'd appreciate it if you had some way of putting it on in case it got away from you, you know, whether it's a hose right nearby or a pail of water or something. Just common sense. Yes. Uh -huh. yep. And only seasoned hardwood. No, no yard waste, nothing like that. No construction materials. Just seasoned hardwood. How about uh, staffing levels? Are you looking? Are you hiring still? Oh, well, actually, we're at full staff right now. Um, and we hope to keep that until the grants uh, money's run out, which right now we have an extension uh, guaranteed till July 3rd. And then the additional extension, which should take us into the first part of October, we're still waiting to hear back for sure from FEMA. And then after that, is there another well, uh, grant, a uh, safer grant that we could be eligible for? Um, there could. Uh, we don't know for sure, but typically they have an application period in the December, November, December area. Um, there's uh, uh, some discussions taking place at City Hall about ways to try to retain some portion of the grant staff, and that'll be uh, worked out with the administration and council and what's, what's the best for uh, the department and what they can afford. Well, let's hope. Yes. Great. Yes. Thanks for the updates, Dave. You're welcome. It's good to see you. Yep, good to see you. Keep you guys safe. Will do. The uh, head of the Jackson Fire Department, Deputy Director of Fire Services, Dave Wooden. Well, up next on our show, we'll